Why? Tell me, why did I think it would be a good idea to wear a white t-shirt to China's chili oil capital? Just how much chili oil did I get on my clothes? You'll have to watch to the end to find out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hello, hello, and welcome to another Chinese food adventure. I am here in Baoji. It's about an hour and a half train ride from Xi'an. We're still in the province of Shanxi, and it's a very cute little, hello. <laughs> It's a very cute little city. So why have I come here? What has brought me to Baoji? Well, you guys know me. It's of course the food. There are in fact three food items here in Baoji that come from this city that I've been wanting to try for a really, really long time. So we're going to start this food adventure off right here, right now with food to eat in Baoji. Item number one, which is Douhua Palmo. So Palmo means soaked bread. You may remember the Yang Rou Palmo, the bread and mutton soup I had in Xi'an a few videos ago, made by breaking apart a baked bun by hand and then combining it with broth and mutton. But today's Palmo is vastly different because it's made with tofu food pudding and soy milk. It's like palmo, but make a breakfast. For this palmo, the bread comes pre-sliced. Yay for that. Uh, this bread is then soaked not in broth, but hot soy milk until it's nice and hot and juicy. Then tofu pudding is added, followed by a generous spoon of chili oil, some of that hot soy milk, and finally another spoonful of chili oil. Did I mention this city loves chili oil? And there we have it guys, breakfast. No need for coffee in the morning. This is going to wake you up way better than coffee. He has put a lot of chili in there and it's very different from what I was expecting. I mean, the palmo I had in C and you have to rip it up yourself into tiny pieces. But here, firstly, they use a different kind of bread. They use a guokui bread um, and it's already pre-sliced and they soak it for you. But in doujiang. So I'm going to go in first with a little bit of that tofu drenched in chili sauce. Mm. It's definitely not what I was expecting. It's very fragrant from that chili oil and from that coriander, but there's also sweetness there and definitely not that spicy. Um, it's feeling very nice on my stomach actually, very warming and a slight warmth in my mouth. It's not at all intimidating as it looks. Now I am very, very keen to try this. So that guokui soaked in the doujiang, it is super, super soft. It's got a really nice mouthfeel. Also a sweetness to it from that doujiang as well. I'm actually really keen just to give this soup a try. It's such an interesting dish. You've got that doujiang that gives like this slight sweetness and this nuttiness to the overall dish. But then you've got the saltiness and the smokiness from the chili oil and the fragrance from the coriander. It's also playing with my mind a little bit because seeing it get made just now, my first impression was, wow, that's gonna be a lot, a lot of flavor for the morning. Cause this is a breakfast dish. All the stores close at 12. So if you come to Baoji, make sure you have it for breakfast. But it's definitely a lot milder than I was expecting. And that doujiang gives it a breakfastiness in some way. It works. I mean, I like it. Food to eat in Baoji, item number two, it is gan mian pi. It's a variety of liang pi, which is like a cold jelly-like noodle. And of course, for the most authentic local flavor, I'll be heading into this mall and going to the food court. What? I mean, this is definitely a first for me. Who would have thought I would have come all the way to Baoji only to come to the food court to eat my gan mian pi. But my taxi driver, when I arrived, he was very, very insistent that this is the place to go. So we're just gonna trust the process and hope this food court meal will deliver. Okay guys, this is the place in question. It's called Bao Bao Mian Pi. It's pretty simple. In with the Mian Pi and then in with the chili oil. But this is no average chili oil. It's a chili oil made by pouring hot boiling oil on chili flakes. But more on this massive bowl of your Polaza later. Let's get back to our Gan Mian Pi. I mean, that looks amazing. Let's do the mall thing. Find a place to sit. Okay, got a seat. Now let's have a closer look at this Gan Mian Pi. So unlike the variety of Yang Pi we had in Xi'an a few videos ago, Mi Pi, which is made from rice, this Gan Mian Pi here is made from wheat. So something you should know about uh, Yang Pi made from wheat is in the process of making the Yang Pi, they separate the two elements of the dough ball, the starch with the gluten. I know this because I actually tried making uh, Mian Pi myself back home in Australia. So you make a ball of uh, dough like you would to make noodles or something, but then you actually wash the dough to separate the starch 
from the gluten. And then you actually use the starch to make the noodles and that's what you see here. But then the gluten is actually reinserted into the dish. They don't be wasting that gluten and that's what this is here. And it's known as mian jian. Uh, I really like it, it's got a great texture. I have also seen on social media that people be eating these uh, gan mian pi with uh, one of these baked buns. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try as well. But first I'm just gonna go in for a mouthful. I'm so excited to try this. I'm gonna get a little bit of that mian jian and a little bit of those mian pi together. Yum. If you could get a bowl of eight renminbi noodles that taste like this in a mall in an Australian food court, your taxi driver would be telling you to go there too. It's so good. And it's got such a nice mouthfeel because you're combining in one bite that jelly-like, very juicy mian pi, the noodle, with that gluten that has a almost bread-like and actually almost chickeny uh, texture to it. So it's got a little bit of both in your mouth at the same time. And that chili oil, there are no words. It's so different actually because it not only has that smokiness, but it has a sesame tang as well. You've got a lot of sesame seeds in there as well. And one thing I wasn't expecting and I really enjoy about it is right at the end, the, the chili oil has this zing in my mouth. Almost, I'm not citrusy, but almost citrusy. It's got like this zing right at the end, which is just so good. Now for part two. When I first asked for it, they asked, oh, do you mean a down more? Like, do you want us to put meat in it? And I was like, no, just give it to me plain. They don't have it on the menu as like an option to like just have a plain bun, but if you asked for it, they gave it to me. Oh, I'm very nervous about getting this on my white t-shirt. You have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Let's try. That's very good. But I think it could be better. <laughs> oh, that's where it's at. I mean, that oil right at the bottom there, it soaks into the bread, and then you've got all those textures that I've already described, and it all comes together. I mean, oh man. Oh my God, my face. Oh my gosh. It's only watching this back that I realized just how messy this got. It's giving three-year-old eating chocolate ice cream, except it's chili. But closing remarks, a delicious dish, even better with the bread, and how I'm leaving here with no chili oil on my clothes is some kind of miracle. Since we're at the mall, let's go shopping. Malls here in China are kind of like shopping meets kids' playground meets carnival, and you can find a lot of interesting things here. I've just come across this store selling a range of hats and I just cannot with these hats. This is number one. We have excitement, play with a partner. And then I also really love this one for the special barb in your life. But the icing on the cherry is this one. I don't know if I'm even allowed to show it, so I'm gonna blur it out. But it says the C word in Diamantes. I cannot. I need this case in my life. I'm getting this. Obsessed. And check this out. <laughs> Hello? What is food to eat in bulgy item number three, you're asking? And in this case, I think it's best I show you rather than tell you. It's your Palazzo Huo Guo Chili Oil Hot Pot. But instead of the chili being the hot pot base itself, it's a huge bowl of freshly made chili oil that you absolutely drench everything with. I mean... There are no words. This looks absolutely incredible. I mean, first off, can we just start with this massive bowl of chili right here? He came out with a bowl of chili flakes and poured oil over it, releasing all of that fragrance. And when he was actually putting the oil on it, the smell coming at me was absolutely divine. Um, I've asked, what happens if I can't finish the whole bowl? And he says that anything you can't finish, you can actually take away. So not only do you come here for a meal, but you leave here with chili oil just for you. I've been told the best way to start is to get one of these breads on your stick and actually cook it on top of your hot pot. I love how interactive this is. After about a minute or so, it's hot and crispy on the outside. So I think that's looking just about right. Oh, it's so steamy. Oh! And the first step I've been told is to actually, and now this is just next level for chili lovers, just grab some of this Yopo Lazza directly and just put it in there and, and we're just gonna eat it like that. I mean, I've had a lot of sandwiches in my life, but I think this is the first time in my life that I'm having a chili oil sandwich and I'm ready for it. I've trained my life for this moment. 
Oh wow, it's so fragrant. I love the bun. It's so crispy on the outside. And that chili oil is salty and smoky and delicious. And it's been about a minute and I keep waiting for the spice to really hit. I, there's a slight warmth in my mouth but nothing crazy, which is crazy considering there is a bowl of chili in front of me here. It's definitely a lot milder than the chili you'd find in spicy regions like Hunan or Sichuan or Jiangxi. It's quite mild to be honest, but it doesn't compromise on that chili taste, which I really appreciate. It's, it's got all of the flavor, but really none of the kick. It's quite strange. So now I knew what I was dealing with. I was ready to level up and submerge the sandwich. Dipping is always the best option. Period. Guys, word of advice, bring lots of wet wipes with you to Bauti. So step one, done and dusted. Step two is gonna be putting some of this Yopo Laza into my small bowl here. And the reason for this is this is gonna be like my dipping sauce for my meat, my tofu, my greens, once I put it into this hot pot here. Uh, and the reason I guess you wanna do that is anything I don't eat, I can take home. And right now I'm looking at a generous one to two jar chili oil take home right now. So I am wanting to not spoil it by putting meat juice in there. So I'm just gonna keep the meat juices in here. So this meat is their specialty here. It's beef and apparently it's gonna be incredibly tender. Also eating this, I can't help but getting flashbacks to Beijing's Shuanyang Rou. It's the instant boiled mutton hot pot you can find there. The hot pot itself is a very similar shape and also has the same clear hot pot base. But where in Beijing, you've got that thick sesame sauce. Here, of course, you've got the chili. And at this point, I'm just downing it like it's water. It's chili-licious and the beef is just so, so tender. I loved playing around with the textures and flavor combinations with this hot pot concept. I particularly like this tofu greens and chili sandwich I made. Oh my god. It's a hot pot full of possibilities. So I'm about 20 minutes into this now. I've been pounding that chili oil like no one's business. And I have to say, this uh, chili oil, this yopolaza, it's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> you don't feel it in the moment. You don't feel it even five minutes, ten minutes afterwards. But right now, it's just hit me. I have pretty much just sculled a bottle of water. I can definitely feel those spoons and spoons and spoons of chili oil in my stomach, in my throat. It comes. But when you're ready to call it a day, as promised, you can take that chili oil home with you. I am leaving Baoji a very, very happy lady. I mean, I've got a souvenir for the road. No souvenir like chili oil, that's for sure. And I'm looking forward to putting this all over my food for the next month. Um, but that's going to bring us to the end of today's food adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and do all the things. It would really, really make my day. And I hope you have a lovely day as well, wherever you're watching this video from. Until next time, goodbye from Baldi. <laughs>